Hey Libra couples, <clears throat> I am Phoenix Rising, and if you're watching, you are on my channel. How are you guys doing today? Hopefully everything's great. Um, I am Phoenix Rising, I'm new to YouTube, but I am here to do my first love reading for you guys, for couples only. Um, this is for Libra. Um, click subscribe if you like it, click the like button if you like it come back and see me watch your spouse um zodiac sign reading because i'm doing all of them so okay let's get started because i did the free shuffle because i don't like to waste you guys time i'm a youtuber and i love watching <clears throat> the zodiac the you know the horoscopes i watch it just like you guys do so i hate when it takes forever to get started but i can tell you if you'd like for me to do the free shuffle on camera that's not an issue i can or I can do it off camera. I started off doing it on camera, but I don't want to lose your view. So that's why I switched it up. Okay. So let's get it started today. Libras in love. Couples at the lead. You got your own card. You got <clears throat> the justice in reverse though. Um, of course, justice is Libra. Let's see you guys. See? But you're in reverse. So that means there's a bit of an imbalance. Um, someone feels they're not being treated fairly. There might be some, a little bit of arguments, discussions about stuff, not seen eye to eye. Um, but I want you to ask, you know, yourself, are you being fair as well on both ends? Um, and we teach people how to treat us. So, um, with that being said, you know, it's just the imbalance, you know, and it's a matter of being open-minded, but also putting your foot down. And these are just small disagreements. People have every day when you're in a relationship. So it's just regular. That's what I'm picking up. So that's the justice in reverse. A little bit of an imbalance with the Libra couple. Just a little bit. Nothing too big, Libra. <clears throat> Four of swords. Upright. You guys are taking time out to rest, regroup, retreat, reconnect. Um, some stress and anxiety might have came up for some couples, not all left you guys like feeling like we need some peace and quiet we need some tranquility baby seeking a long time um i'm overwhelming pressure right now too you see the person laying down like they in the coffin like they did like i'm tired <laughs> i need to go somewhere and get it together okay that could be you or your partner or both of y'all with what's going on and then with that spread you got uh -oh. The page of pinnacles. Let me turn your meditation music down because that's what's okay. You got the page of pinnacles. Now, what that means is um it's great. It means loyalty, faithfulness between you guys. Maybe for some that have been together a while, the spark went out. And um, just like I said, minor issues, like you need to get the fun back in your life. Like it's time to add the fun back. Okay. But no serious issues is what I'm picking up. Um, this could be an earth sign too. Um, I'm picking up uh, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Could be your mate. Could be. Doesn't have to be. Okay? It's like you just got to add a little, you know? That's all. Not for everybody, but for some. You got the lover's card in reverse. Um, this means great sex, but maybe not on the same page about some stuff that you guys need to keep, you know, talking about. Like, where are we going to stay at in the next couple years? Are we having kids? Are we getting married? What do we invest in? What do we buy? This is couple stuff. Okay? Um, one person might feel like the other one is more emotionally invested than the other. And that may not be true. Trust issues for some that's been together a while might be stopping the flow of the situation. There is a difference in goals I'm picking up, like uh, values, family values, mm, hopes for the future. There's some differences, just a little bit. A lost connection. Don't feel as close as you as you used to be, but the issues will resolve. It's why the lovers card is here in reverse for my Libra couples. You're gonna resolve this. You're gonna make it. Knight of Swords came with that suit of the lovers. And hmm, 
what I'm picking up with the night is like um, change coming. Um, basically, you got to plant your feet down if you want some change to come. You got to get serious about it. You got to mean it. Mean what you say. Say what you mean. Sorry. My hand might be in the way. Deeper commitment, marriage, romance. Um, if you want to be together, you got to fight to stay together. This is someone between the ages of 20 and 35 that might be a risk taker, fast talker. So for some, this represents, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, this represents your mate. Um, it's an air sign. It is another air sign, which is a, a Libra, um, Aquarius, or a, a Gemini. But um, for some, it just means, like I said, a rebellious partner, daredevil, smart, fast talker. But this is also, like I said, you guys coming for a deeper commitment. This does not have to be a person. This could be you, like you and your mate. Like, we're going to make it deeper. We're going we gonna to go to the next level. And whatever that may be, swift, like the knight, knight of swords. But it can be an air sign, okay? Then you got the strength card. And it's upright, so it's great. This represents, like, a Leo that someone could be with. Um, a strong couple, strong union. It does not have to be a Leo partner. This could just simply mean you guys are strong together. Um, facing problems from the past. Now will make you guys a stronger couple. And that's what you need. Courage and strength. Okay? For some, you guys just got together and you just the bomb.com. You already a strong couple. You came together and it's like, ooh, it's good. Little tips here and there like anybody getting to know somebody, you know? Then you got the six of wands, stable, sharing success, um, achieving couple goals, supportive of each other, shared victory is what you want in a relationship. <clears throat> Proud, winning, victory. So it's a great card. That's what you're going to be seeing as. And you feeling real victorious about your partner anyway. You know, you know. You love this person, so you're willing to work on whatever it is that needs to be worked on. Negotiation and compromise. Now you got the uh, four of wands that came out with that. That just means happy family, success. This is like double confirmation, security. This could also be a celebration coming. Um, wedding, proposals. This is another good card. Surprises. Somebody's going to be surprised by that mate. With that, you got the Ace of Wands. I want you to know this, this suit is all wands if no one noticed that. But this um this Ace of Wands, this here, new chapter, new lease on life, getting engaged, triple confirmation. Marriage, buying house, moving, baby. This is really the fertility card, too. So if you don't want a baby, you better be careful. Because <laughs> fun and excitement and passion. You in the house, growth, birth, pregnancy, fertility card. So we got... Hold on, let me hold it up for you. You got all fire blazing through that Libra couples. Success, baby, marriage, proposal, how? I mean, anything. Perfect spread. Look at that ace. Look at them wands. Look at that. For them Libra couples coming through that. Three of Pentacles. It means committed to the relationship. Um, even if you got to seek therapy or counseling, you willing to do whatever you need to do if, if that needs to be. But it basically means growing and learning together. Each other, especially. If you just got together, you still learning, you know, to get to know each other. And if you've been a while, been together a while, you, it's nothing wrong with relearning some things. Showing your partner some things. People grow, so you have to learn things over because people change. Okay. Figuring out how to share your lives together is what this means for some of you. What are we going to say? What are we going to do? Like I said, questions. Now, you got the Ten of Pentacles with that. Solid foundation. Harmony. Moving together forward. Like I just said, deeper commitment. You're getting all these confirmations. Conflict over differences. Like the backgrounds, like I said, family traditions. It's like, mm. 
you know, maybe you have in different religions. Like, they might be Baptist, you might be Christian. I don't know. It doesn't matter to me. It's none of my business. But it's just like you have different differences, you know? Find a middle. Being fair. You got to compromise is what this card. If you want this 10 with this person, Pentacles, you have to compromise to get the completion. It's a beautiful card. Look at that couple with the dogs and stuff. Pentacles is money, too. Look at all that on that. That's just beautiful. Okay. You got to be willing to be like, okay, you know what? I got to compromise. In reverse, the three of wands. Now, this could just mean like somebody is very impatient. Um, well, I'll say this much. This means lack of growth. And maybe someone's feeling that. Um, you might even feel like some choices that was made might have not been good in the past. Restrictions held back. Maybe your partner want to travel too. And you like, I don't want One of you guys want to travel and one don't. So you're not seeing eye to eye on that. That's what I mean. Like there's frustrations in the relationship. Um, but something is also telling me outside of it. This is an expansion card. And that also goes with the, where is that? There go. The Ace of Wands. This is pregnancy. Fertility, expansion, fertility, expansion, fertility. Woo! Yes, baby. Three of Pentacles is my next card. Oh, wait, no, I did three Pentacles. I'm sorry. I mixed them up now. Shouldn't have touched them, right? <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah, this is, like I said, expansion, baby. So, and this is, like I said, the family. So, you got, let me hold it up for you. So you got committed to the relationship in the middle, um, learning and growing each other. Even if you got together, the middle card is like we we learning each other, we growing, we sharing our lives together. Then you got the all in pentacles, it's harmony and bliss, moving together for a deeper commitment. And then you got expansion, happy, happy, happy. Oh y'all on fire, Libra couples. Even with this little tiff in the road, it's cute. Okay, you got the Eight of Wands in reverse. This could mean like one of you feel like, okay, you know what? It's like a passion. It's like an energy. But it's really not. It's it's a, a little bit of you being impatient or your partner being impatient. But you got to slow down. Might be lack of romance, but it's coming. Someone wants more and someone might be feeling like the other person is hesitating. That's what this is here for, the Eight of Wands in reverse. Like, you know, I don't know if you... What's up? What's up? You got the Seven of Pentacles in reverse with that. And it means like... Um, hmm, how can I put this? Uh, not moving fast enough again. Double confirmation. Like, you know what? You taking too long. What's up? But they really not. In need of a break... You not, this is also what I'm picking up. You in need of a break with your partner and you in need of a break without your partner. So it's a such thing as getting time by yourself and then also coming back and getting quality time with your mate. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, you might feel like the mate, your mate or you, you might not be putting enough effort, but you might feel like more so I'm thinking your mate. Lack of. That's why I said the, the main card was the eight of wands in reverse. Lack, lack of. You might feel like it's lack of something. Um, and you also might feel like your partner is more worried, worried about everything else, like work. I don't care. The daycare, the dog, everything. But like, what's up? You're not paying me no attention. What's up? That's why the, the seven of pentacles is here in reverse. Last but not least, you got the eight of swords. This is... The impatience is, is making someone feel trapped and confined. Bagged in the corner. For some, some past issues is coming up from cheating and infidelity. Powerless, Christless, crisis, crisis, like a power. Like you feel powerless because of the crisis, the dilemmas in the past. Okay? For some, you just feel trapped. Like, hold on, calm down. Maybe you're making your partner feel like that, like. Put a little pressure on, like, okay, hold on. If you just got together. 
you expect the answers kind of fast. I'm picking up impatient a lot. So just relax. Relax. Okay? And last but not least, Libra, for your meditation card for couples, Mandela of the Heart. So let's get into it. Let's see what you guys are meditating on. Sometimes aspects of your life fall apart or don't go to don't don't go to plan. Sorry, you guys. This is so they can come back together in a beautiful new way. So things fall apart for things to come back together to be better. And I have experienced that myself, so I know what that is. Trust in the goodness of it all. Blessings of your destiny fall into place. Do not trust into fears. Do not trust into your fears. Put your faith in your love. In, wait, put your faith in the love of your heart. A heartfelt wish is going to manifest. Ooh. It's coming, Libra. Um, the song I'm picking up too is I've been hearing um uh Chris Brown and um Jordan Sparks air. That's what I'm picking up. For you guys, how are you gonna breathe without air? It's like that's the, that's the song for you couples. So, but it looks like everything's gonna work out. You just gotta be patient. You guys have a beautiful spread. Communication is the key behind closed doors due to the corona. I know we're all kind of stuck and frustrated, but remember, you really love this person and you really want to be with this person. That's what your spread says, and it's just a little tip in the road, and you guys can fix it. And if you just got together, just keep keep getting to know each other. And it looks like it's going to turn out great. So, Libra, this is your couple's love reading for the first two weeks of April. I'll be back with a career spread for you guys in a couple days. And the second part of April, I will do the other part of your love reading. If th This is a general love reading, so that's why I said I picked up on a lot of different energy. If you want a personal reading, more, more personal just for you, um, please inbox, well, email me. At the bottom, my email address is there. And I'll get back to you. Until next time, Libras, have a beautiful day and stay safe. Bye-bye.